Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. In this case, I want to do phaco emulsification without hydro dissection. The aim of this video is to make an eye surgeon more competent. In some cases, we cannot do a proper hydro and the nucleus doesn't rotate. In those cases, we feel that it is very difficult to manage that case. But actually, it is not. Even without hydrodissection, we can do a case very nicely. I learned this technique from Dr. Narayan Bardhuli, founder of Chandra Prabha Eye Hospital at Jodhat, Assam. Deep regards to Dr. Narayan Bardhuli. After I learned this technique, I don't bother whether a nucleus is rotating or not, whether hydrodissection is proper or not, because FECO can be done very nicely even without hydrodissection. Let us see this case. After the initial steps, at this time the capsulorexis is being done and it is almost complete. Here it is. The nucleus, the rexis is complete. It is about a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter in size, 5.5 millim millimeter in diameter. And now, without hydrodissection, I am entering into the anterior chamber with the FECO handpiece. Go bevel down, aspirate some superficial lens matter. Now I turn the handpiece to make the bevel up and bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus and make this first job at 5 o'clock. And now I turn the handpiece towards 3 o'clock. Bury the teeth into the substance of the nucleus and make this small job at 3 o'clock and make this nuclear piece free. And I emulsify this nuclear piece. Now I turn the handpiece towards 8 o'clock and try to make this job. It has a nice crack but the piece is not free. So I go and bury the tip again and chop again at around between 8 and 9 and I could get a free nuclear piece. And by this time hydrodissection has occurred naturally from center to periphery. So this can be called reverse hydro or natural hydro. And now the nucleus is mobile, it's rotating and the case is just like a routine case. So after we make first few cracks and make some free nuclear fragment, emulsify those fragments, hydrodissection occurs naturally. And this is the last nuclear piece. Emulsify the nuclear piece. At this time I go to FECO 3 mode, epinuclear mode, where the vacuum and flow rate is less. From beginning till the last piece, the it was vacuum was high about 450, flow rate was 45 ml per minute, and ultrasonic energy was according to the hardness of this nucleus about 70 percent. And now, nucleus and epinucleus is nicely managed. In this case, I'm using a quick shell irrigation aspiration from Oatly. 
and here it is the cortical cleanup can be done very nicely with this coaxial irrigation aspiration device for sub incisional cortex I went to the right side and I could pick off the sub incisional cortex and now I take the irrigating probe and polish the posterior capsule using only irrigation no aspiration just the irrigation and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens I am enlarging the main wound little bit the size of the wound becomes about 3 mm and with the help of a B cartridge a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag the irrigating probe dials the lens all the visco has come out by irrigating by irrigation this is a bit of moxifloxacin now I close the side port hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound and finally a last lavage of the anterior chamber at this time whatever visco remains stuck to the corneal endothelium comes out and now the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and sub your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence